Hey guys, this is uh, Ion Redline from the ECF Forums. I uh, just wanted to do a quick video, show you guys this nice new pipe that I just got from uh, Matt over at ePipe Mods. Uh, I made, uh, got this pipe made specifically for a CE2 cartomizer. I like using CE2s, a lot of people do. Um, everything on this pipe is custom. Matt will not uh, make this design again, from what he tells me. Um, I know you guys had some questions about how this thing has been made and how it comes apart and everything, so I just wanted to give you a quick video of how everything works. Uh, let's see here. This piece here, I don't know if you can see where that line is right there. You can see where it separates. This piece is a cone made of briar. Uh, basically what he did was, uh, it appears that he chopped off a eco cone and uh, twist it off here and show you. Slide that back. You can see the CE2. It's got an ego connection there. Uh, it looks like what he did is he cut the cone from an ego and put the thread inside this piece of briar. Uh, I'll show you here. Just take it and twist it off. Twist your stem off there with the CE2 goes in two pieces. Slide your cone off there. You can see how it's still got uh, like the bark kind of deal on the in there. Gives it a nice authentic handmade pipe look to it. There's your stem with the CE2 inside. Take your CE2 out. Sometimes it's a little bit of a pain, it's kind of tight, which is a good thing. Oh, this time it doesn't want to come out. There we go. Just always make sure you hold the CE2 nice and tight so you don't end up taking the uh, tube off. We all know that sucks. There you go. There's your CE2. Or in this case, this is a Gottfabe's Flux Miter. Same thing. There's your stem. These are the new uh, Lucite long tapered stems. As I understand, Matt tells me these are actually made from real pipe stems. This is one that is called the, uh, I believe he's calling it the Butter. See a nice little color variations in it there. Now what he did, from what I can tell, is he took the stem and basically bored it out here so you can slide a CE2 into it and hand molded it. Looks like he heated it up and you know kept on hand molding it until he got it to where it tapers out and fits the CE2 very nice. There's the bowl piece so you can see. Like I said it does have the ego connection on there just like all of his pipes. Comes apart, the cap there comes off, got your battery cap and your button. And it does have a, you can see a little black dot there, a little black dot there, just line those two up, goes together. Now for reassembly I'll give you an idea of that. What I do is I'll go ahead and slide my CE2 in there. You can tell inside the stem when you look at it, you can see how far the CE2 will actually go in there. It'll actually stop when you get to the Point where it won't go anymore. Slide that in. I chose green. I have a green reduction, so you know, kind of goes with it. But you can use clear or whatever. Clear will probably look a little bit better with the stem. Just take your cone here. Slide your cone over top of your stem and your CE2. Go ahead and thread that on. Now don't do this too tight. You know. Like I said, you don't want to end up killing your CE2. What I'll do is I'll line up the stem real quick before I tighten it completely down. And if you make adjustments, make sure you hold onto that onto that CE2. And you make slight adjustments to align it with the bowl. And you just take your cone, slide it back down, screw it on there. 
and as you can see Matt has uh, made this pretty seamless where it looks like it matches perfectly I'm assuming he uh, went ahead and he cut all this out at one long stem there and then cut the cone afterwards very nice looking acorn Dublin style I don't know if I mentioned uh, he's named this pipe Defiance I think it's a pretty fitting name, it's a very nice pipe see the nice grain in the briar there the briar has a really nice grain pattern to it show you how it vapes You can see here how uh, it just so happens that the design I sent him came out perfectly with a little thumb rest there where it makes it very easy for me to hold. He also made this nice little stand for it. See where he ground out the shape of the pipe there. This is made of uh, Australian seed pod. Very nice wood considering making my next pipe out of this very very nice it's got a beautiful look to it nice handy little deal you know rest my pipe on alright well like I said I just wanted to show you guys a quick look at uh, everything because I know you guys had some questions about how he put it all together uh, this particular pipe like I said he will not make this model again uh, he may make another model if you maybe beg him <laughs> he might make you something that is sort of similar uh, he does say it's very time consuming I uh, waited a, a good while for this to be made so you will be waiting a little bit because uh, like I said he does say it is, it is very tedious very time consuming to make it and uh, just wanted to let you guys see that and I'd like to thank Matt very very much he's done a fantastic job on it. I've been happy with all the pipes I've bought from him so far. So uh, go on over to epipemods.com and get yourself a nice pipe. Have a good one guys.